Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Yannick, Editor-in-Chief of Pitt & Quarry Magazine. We're here at Ag1, Aggregates Academy and Expo and the World of Asphalt in Nashville. It's been a great show. Before the show, two nights earlier, in fact, we had our annual Pitt & Quarry Hall of Fame induction ceremony. It's a black tie event that we established back in 2013. We now have 40 Hall of Famers in our Hall of Fame to date and we enshrined four more Sunday night, including Tom Hill, Neil Heiss, Lewis Johnson, and Charlie Luck. So, a couple of producers and, and manufacturers were added to the Hall of Fame this year. Something we're really proud of at the magazine. As I said, it's something we established 11 years ago. We're putting the, the spotlight on, on the leaders, the founders, the innovators of our industry, and we're really proud of our 2024 class. Uh, I really look at these guys as, as heavyweight additions to the Pitt & Quarry Hall of Fame. If you're not aware, anybody can nominate someone for the Pitt & Quarry Hall of Fame. Go to PittandQuarryHallOfFame.com. You know, we're looking for producers, manufacturers, dealers, anybody that was a stakeholder in the betterment of the aggregate industry. There's somebody who's a potential candidate for induction to the Pitt & Quarry Hall of Fame. Um, again, some unique gentlemen with, with some tremendous stories and histories. You know, some of these guys, including our 2024 class, they put in 40, 50 years to the industry to better it in different ways. Maybe bringing along better, more advanced equipment, maybe bringing along better ways to do things as a producer, more efficiencies, upping safety, upping productivity, and, and just making us a better industry overall. So um, to me, I think what makes the difference between a Hall of Famer and you know somebody who's a great contributor to our industry, the separator there is someone who's moving the needle for the industry nationwide, and inflicting, infecting great change, across the nation and, and uh, you know, the four gentlemen that we enshrined Sunday night here in Nashville, you know, they're certainly all worthy of their inductions and we congratulate them on their, on their great achievement.